I will show you how you can use this simple package to create your application in multiple languages in a really simple, simple way. And using this package, your code will be really clean and you will see that in this video. Here we are. This is my project. This is the initial project. I what I did so far. I have deleted all the things that uh, there are in the first project that you find with a regular expression, and you can find it in the previous video if you want, if you are interested. And um, uh, right now, what we want to do it, we uh, want to install uh, some packages and. Um, uh, so far what I have is uh, the default project, they have changed only some things, for example I have deleted all other other things and I have inserted only a scaffold with a center and text. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do if, is to go into our pubspec.yaml, okay, and uh, the packages that we need to install are these two packages, the E18N package, and you will find uh, the version dependency here into the installing tab and the build runner. So let's install them right now. Okay, so we have this one here and the build runner that we have to install right into the dev dependencies not the dependencies okay let's save mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so gives me this problem here We'll change the version of the runner and let's see what what will happen. Nothing. Okay. Let's change it into another version. Oh, now works fine. Okay. So that's good so far. So seems that it has installed our packages. Let's try to import our package. Okay. Okay, seems everything good. So now what we want to do is to create a new folder called lang. You can call it whatever you want. New file that have to, um, for example, it. And uh, as far as you know, it has to have uh, the uh, this extension here and then YAML because it's a YAML file. So let's copy and repaste another similar here and so I forgot a part here. This one. Okay, now it's good. Um, and here we have uh, we can insert the things that we want in different languages. So, for example, um, uh, let's say, for example, we have pages and uh, we want uh, page one, then title, here in the end, title. This is structure of the YAML file. So, uh, it ha uh, the most important thing are spaces. So. Uh, uh, that's it, as you can see, it's really simple to understand. Okay, and, uh, and uh, you can use even variables, for example. Like, hi. name okay now let's copy that and pass it here let's change uh, the text into italian and we 
really sorry for that. So let's use that and use translate selection. This is another, uh, it's a, an extension of VS Code. So if you're interested, you, you will find it into ex extension. Um, Italian, okay. The thing that we have to do is that we have to use the build runner to build the uh, generated files that uh, we need we will use uh, later um, as you will see and to do so we have to use um, this command here so we have two commands for for building we have the build runner build as you can see here and this what do is um, it's builds uh, our files once and if you use uh, instead of build watch it keeps watching for changes if you change some variables or not so let's go right now for build and, and let's see what happens so okay perfect it has created two dark files and the use to use these dark files we go for example into the main and we import the um, the dart file for example here we type lang the end and we call it we use it into our variable for example en and let's use it into our variable en dot uh, pages dot page one dot title you see as you can see it shows us uh, uh, a title now let's add other uh, things So as you can see, we have other our description. Now let's do one simple thing. Let's um, uh, s uh, use the Italian one here to, for example, it. But we have to import it. So let's do something like this. As you can see, if we try to change our variables, it prints the Italian language. And um, let's do the last thing that is to uh, use the high IT pages page one high. As you can see, we can call it and we can pass to it a string, for example, um, Marco. As you can see, it prints out our uh, uh, our string. So that's it for this video. And uh, as you can see, it's really easy to use. It's super simple, and um, it's really clean. So and remember that if you want to keep watching for changes, uh, you have to use uh, you have to use instead of build, you have to use watch. As you can see here, um, we have the. Uh, if I type, for example, type uh, titolo uno, it doesn't print anything. But if I use watch, and I change to two, and I save, then I restart. As you can see, it prints out two. This package is super easy to use and uh, uh, I'll put it into the description. Let me know in the comment section if you have ever used this package, if you have found it easy or not. So that's it for this video. See you the next time.